Why are you guys wearing masks like that? So what? Can you guys just leave? Nah. Alright, take the money in it. I keep the coins. I need the coins. Bro, okay. I'm good. Now after this incident, the Las Vegas smoke shop owner actually posted a Reddit Ask Me Anything. I was skeptical at first, but he actually posted photographic proof it was him from his iCloud account, full name and all. Where he talks about after the video ended, the robber apologized, called his mom, said he was leaving this earth, and the shop owner called emergency services and they arrived within 3 minutes. He also states the robber survived, but he mainly credits video games for his self-defense abilities. People remarking that it looks like he has experience in this, but he replies he never has, but he can stay calm under pressure because of League of Legends team fights. But then he also credits CSGO and SOU. Now obviously the reoccurring comment is, you need to hire an attorney, and he keeps saying that he has one. Then people tell him to hire a better lawyer, but then he replies, he's not worried about criminal charges. He didn't want them to rob him, he gave them the option to leave, and they escalated it. And it's sad because with a lot of these stories online, you'll have a lot of non-experts in the field trying to give this guy advice. But this guy already interacted with Las Vegas Metro PD, and it doesn't look like they charged him. He already spoke to an attorney that's familiar with the Las Vegas judges and DAs, and they told him not to worry. It sounds like he made peace with a robber, he apologized, and he survived. And I'm telling you right now, this guy has definitely been coached on what verbiage to use. He says he doesn't have the intention to hurt anyone. He talks about fearing for his life and this was a fight or flight response. And how he didn't know if they were grabbing merchandise, there was just a lot of adrenaline. Because take it from me, with first hand experience. I've talked about how recently someone tried to murder me by running at me while slashing a blade at me. Because you think that if you're in that situation, you're going to do something cool. A spinning backflip bird kick into a raging demon takedown maneuver. But no, I was holding a red sweater at the time, so I just kept flicking it in his face trying to distract him like some Costco off-brand matador. So hearing this Las Vegas smoke shop owner's experience, I just feel bad for him and I know his life is going to change forever. He's never going to get to enjoy that peaceful, naive bliss that is the illusion of safety. Because I look at his Instagram, it looks like he's getting a lot of support from people that want to drop by and dap him up, but he's also getting a lot of race-based comments as if any of this was racially charged by him, which is sad to say because a lot of the criminal charges around this are race-based. He's Asian, it looks like the robber's white, and this took place in Vegas. Case in point, the New York City bodega worker that was charged for a arguably worse version of this. Guy who hops behind the counter hitting him, dragging him out front, and the bodega worker defends himself, but is briefly charged before public outcry can free him. And with the smoke shop owner being Asian, even though the dinosaur media likes to ignore it now, Asians aren't having the best time with crime, especially in places like Los Angeles, New York City, and San Francisco, where we see in this video in San Francisco where an old Asian man is being arrested dressed like a cop. Now we don't know if he is a cop or he's just simply dressed like one, but the commentary around this is, what if this is the only way elderly Asians can feel safe walking around their community? Which is hard for us to say exactly what's going on, but the fact that this idea is even circulating is insane because people are starting to no longer trust the establishment for their safety. And you see it at the end of the smoke shop owner's Ask Me Anything on Reddit, he remarks that he went out and expressed his two-way freedoms immediately. So if you've enjoyed my concise, no BS commentary on current events, hopefully I've earned your subscription and you can help the decoy squad get to 90,000 ducks. Or maybe you'll just want to check out my video on what's really going on with crime in Los Angeles before it gets memory hold forever.